John Bowden from Rock History Canada. Some sad news to talk about today. Bob Segarin has passed away. He was 77 years old. Let's show some pictures of this. Let me let's move this a little bit. There we go. Um, a lot of folks have so much to say about Bob. They're completely in shock that he passed away. A huge part of the Canadian landscape for so many years. But interestingly, he is from Stockton, California. He wasn't Canadian way back when, but uh, in the 70s, he moved to Canada and became, well, he just kind of became a Canadian. Uh, he passed away in his sleep on Monday, July 10th. He was a member of so many different bands, of course, most notably as a solo artist, uh, but the Bob Segarini band. In June, Bob was uh, came down with pneumonia, and that moved into COPD, and he was placed in assistant living. Uh, he wasn't able to take care of himself. As mentioned, he's from Stockton, California. Let me give you another picture. I don't know why this doesn't seem to work very well. There we go. Oh, Gotta Have Pop is, uh, you know, every everyone everyone who knows his career would remember that. And a lot of folks are mentioning it uh, in their tri tributes today. Anyway, he was in, like I said, a lot of different bands. In 74, he formed the Dudes with uh, Richie and David Henman who were previously with April Wine, who left after or during the Electric Jewels era. And uh, Brian Greenway was in the band Future, of course, April Wine. He would join a few years later. And uh, But there's so many different outlets for Bob Segarini. And he loved the industry so much. He was always talking about how much he loved uh, Canadian music. He was a, a columnist and a DJ. Let me give you another picture here. Uh, speaking of, there he is, known as the Iceman, wearing a Chilliwack. Look at that, a Chilliwack a t shirt. Had a great whiskey soaked voice. Uh, let me just move this down a little bit. I've got a lot of things going on on my screen. Uh, people will remember Gotta Have Pop on the radio and the Goodbye LA. Uh, during the 80s, he worked, he was uh, first with Chum, different classic rock stations like CILQ. And as mentioned, he was known as the Iceman. But uh, you know what he wrote? If you look up his name on at all on the internet let me just get rid of that there he is you know he he lived well <laughs> he he, uh, he he did it well let me just see if i can go back there's a good picture of him right there yeah, there and there let me there we go and let me come back to the screen here there we go here so the tributes today, you can always tell the the measure of a man by the, how people. Hi, Dwayne. Thanks for coming on. By how people react, you know. First of all, he was in assistant living, and he, he did have pneumonia, which turned into COPD. And and being put on assistant living is is a tough gig. Uh, but he lived well, you know. He. Um, uh, I remember seeing so many different interviews with him, and he's one of those artists I never had a chance to interview. Uh, though I've interviewed a lot in Canada, and I wish I would have. I communicated with him on Facebook uh, a few times, but never got around to doing it. And that's something that, that I say an awful lot with, especially Canadian obituaries and tributes where you, you know, you got to get on to, to, to the people that you admire in music. You've got to, if you want to talk to them, don't wait to talk to them. But as far as there's a, there's a dispute of whether he was 77 or 78 in some outlets, but most people are reporting that he was 77 years old. May he rest in peace. A Canadian icon who started out in, in the Stockton, California in the in the 70s, moved to Canada and uh, was well entrenched in, in Canadian music, not only as a DJ, but like he wrote columns on it. He helped uh, Sirius FM, uh, Sirius XM uh, get, uh, get some channels on. He was just involved in the industry so much. So may he rest in peace. It's John Bowden reporting from Rock History Canada. Take good care of yourself.